Chances are one of your favorite restaurants or stores has been sued over allegations that it's discriminating against people with disabilities. The Denver 7 Investigates team has been exposing the hundreds of cases that have hit Colorado and the Southwest. Many of these lawsuits are frivolous. Well, tonight, Ryan Luby has a new twist with one of the lawyers facing charges of misconduct. <laughs> Good evening. The charges essentially claim the lawyer should not be a lawyer anymore. And they stem from what we helped prove over the last year, that she lied under oath by trying to hide the fact she was working for a lawsuit filing machine. She's been through quite a lot. and we're, Everything needed to be said was said in the courtroom. She has no further comment whatsoever. You probably remember this. This is the lawyer's client, Alyssa Carton, who dodged our questions outside the federal courthouse in Albuquerque, New Mexico, back in May. Carton's lawyer, Sharon Pomerantz, filed 99 disability lawsuits in that state on her behalf, all of which the court dismissed, called frivolous, and compared to a carnival shell game. Even Carton herself later admitted under oath and to Denver 7 that she did not want this to go down like it did. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I have some regrets. Carton and Pomerantz were working for a Phoenix-based group called Advocates for Individuals with Disabilities, also known as Litigation Management and Financial Services. It had previously filed nearly 2,000 cases in Arizona alone, and then it posted jobs in Denver, Albuquerque, and Las Vegas for civil rights advocates and ADA attorneys. Through secret contracts, the group paid Carton $50 for each case filed, Pomerantz $100. I understand how people can be upset. Because of this, Pomerantz faces seven counts of disciplinary action from the New Mexico Disciplinary Board. She's now accused of, in part, knowingly making false statements in court, engaging in conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit, or misrepresentation, and failing to abide by her client's decisions and keeping her client informed. Instead of answering to those charges and others in front of the board, she opted to admit to them and resign instead. Now, you can read about the charges in detail on the DenverChannel.com right now. Just because she's giving up her law license does not mean that she's getting out of this mess. The New Mexico Supreme Court still has to accept her resignation. Also, the federal court in New Mexico still has to figure out what to do about all of the attorney fees and court filing fees that piled up in those 99 cases. I'm Ryan Luby, Denver 7 Investigates. And listen, anytime you have a tip for our Denver 7 Investigators, you can call our tip line at 303-832-TIPS. You can also send an email to newstips at kmgh.com or you can just send us a message on Facebook or Twitter.